Welcome back, everyone. Last week, I had the chance to talk to Missouri Senator Josh Hawley about his positive and practical plan to protect the U.S. from the China threat. Take a look. One of the members of Congress who has been toughest on the threat from China is Senator Josh Hawley from Missouri. Uh, he joins us now. Senator, I've been watching what you've been uh, doing and saying on China with great approval. I'm very excited to talk to you about it. But um, first of all, big picture, how would you set out for us the threat from China? Oh, the threat from China is the most significant threat of the 21st century in many ways. I mean, they've already taken our job, Steve. They're trying to steal our technology. They're trying to build their military on the back of our middle class. And it's time that we got tough with China. I mean, we can't continue to allow them to run roughshod over us. That means getting tough with them on trade. It means getting tough with them on stealing our technology and stealing our jobs. One specific aspect I think that, that you've rightly focused on is the connection between our technology companies um, and the Chinese military. And you've got a specific proposal on that. Tell us about that. Yeah, my proposal is this, that Chinese researchers who want to come over to the United States should have to and work on sensitive technologies in our labs should have to go through a background screening to make sure that they're not actually agents of the Chinese government or the Chinese military. It's just a, an additional layer of security to make sure that, again, China is not using their researchers to be spies. And unfortunately, we know that China has tried to do this. And by the way, so has Russia and so has Iran. So my bill would put a stop to that. It would say that you've got to go through this extra background check if you want to work on sensitive mm -hmm. technology in American labs. What about the um, way in which China uh over the years has really kind of uh, borrowed into our establishment, not just academia and, and, and the scientific world, as you've just described, the technology world. But honestly, when you look at Washington um, and the Chinese influence uh, through think tanks and lobbying and so on, there's one particularly egregious example that we've highlighted on this show, which is President Obama's former head of cybersecurity. They're now working for Jones Day, a law firm, in Washington, D.C., as a declared lobbyist for Huawei, which our government has designated a national security threat. Don't you think that whole practice of lobbying uh, for a, 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 a foreign government that is basically a strategic threat to this country should not, not just be declared, as it has been in this case, but actually outlawed? It's, I would say that that's very, very concerning, Steve, and, and you are absolutely right that the Chinese government, the Chinese military has worked to gain access to our universities, to think tanks. They have worked to weaponize in many ways our free system, whether it's the, our, the open trade system, which they have cheated at systematically for years, or whether it's trying to conduct espionage on our own college campuses or whether it's forcing American companies who want to do business in China mm -hmm. to sign these technology transfer agreements whereby they take all of our tech and then ultimately don't give us access to the market anyway. So it is time that we realize the threat that China poses to our middle class, mm -hmm. to our safety and security, and got serious about it. Would you go so far as to say that there's a comparison here with the um, the Cold War and the Soviet Union. A lot of people are talking in those terms, and that actually, you know, we, we should we should really be looking at some kind of systematic disengagement, or at least reducing our dependence on China, because we would never have made ourselves so economically and technologically and in other ways dependent on the on the Soviet Union, would we? I think we absolutely need to make sure we are not dependent on China and we need to recognize them for what they are, which is at best a strategic competitor, probably an adversary. I mean, just look mm -hmm. right now, Steve, at how they're trying to hold hostage farmers, for instance, farmers in my state, making them the focus of retaliation on these tariffs. That's the kind of game China plays. They cheat. And then when you try to hold them accountable, they strike back. They try to inflict pain. We've got to put ourselves in a position to compete with them, to win and to protect our people. All right, last question. Um, so we've been really focusing on one particular individual and his connections to China. That's uh, former Vice President Joe Biden. Um, we've been telling our audience week after week how he is compromised by China while he was vice president. Um, billions of dollars in payments from the Chinese state to Biden family businesses. It seems to me extraordinary that there's no real interest in following this up um, other than here and a few other places on this channel. What, what do you think we should, don't you think that this should be properly investigated? Joe, yeah, well, Joe China, as I like to call him, should be investigated. Absolutely. I think it, we need to follow the evidence to where it leads. And you can see 
in, in Joe Biden's comments about China, saying that they're not really a threat, uh, saying that they really aren't a competitor, that we don't have anything to worry about. I mean, Steve, the best thing you can say about that is, is that it's just totally ignorant. I mean, it is, it is willful ignorance. China is a huge threat to us, and they have been for years. Look at the jobs that they have taken from American workers, mm -hmm. from workers in my home state of Missouri, and that's the tip of the iceberg. They want to be a global superpower at our expense. We cannot let them. All right. Well, I'm really pleased to see that you recognize this threat for uh, what it is, and you're there fighting um, on behalf of our national interests. Um, great to see you this evening. Thank you, Senator. Thank you.